is that reoccurring pimple telling you something? According to ancient Chinese and Ayurvedic techniques, it might but there's little to no scientific evidence that supports the idea that ear acne is caused by kidney issues or cheek acne is because of your liver. Today's video will discuss what that acne spot on your face means, according to science. As disappointed as we are to hear that, we're also stoked to rectify these claims and create a face map based on evidence and science. Take a look at how to treat returning acne based on external, measurable lifestyle factors. 1. Acne around your hairline Acne surrounding the hairline on your forehead also shares the name pomade acne. Pomades are in thick, often mineral oil-based hair products. This ingredient keeps the natural oil or sebum in our hair follicles from exiting. That blockage is what creates a pimple. Try this for hairline acne. Use non-comedogenic products, which don't contain cocoa butter, coloring, tar, etc. Try a clarifying shampoo to cleanse your pores and remove any product. Shield your face with your hand or a washcloth when using sprays or dry shampoo. 2. Acne on your cheeks. It's not just fecal matter. You've probably got traces of E. coli and other bacteria on your phone, too. And anytime you hold your phone to your face, you're spreading that bacteria to your skin potentially causing more acne. Persistent acne on one side of your faces tends to be due to dirty phones, pillowcases, and other habits like touching your face. Try this for cheek acne. Wet down your smartphone before each use. Don't bring your phone with you to the bathroom. Swap out your pillowcase at least once a week. 3. Acne on your jawline. Here's where face mapping is actually accurate. Shannon jawline acne is often caused by fluctuations in hormones trusted source which means a disruption with your endocrine system. It's typically a result of excess androgens, which overstimulate the oil glands and clog pores. Hormones can surge during a menstrual cycle or may be due to a switch or start with birth control medications. Try this for jawline and chin acne. Reevaluate your diet to see if you need to eat less processed foods or dairy. Research food brands and check if they add hormones to their foods. Visit a dermatologist for topical treatments to help stubborn acne. For acne on your forehead and nose. If you're getting breakouts in the T-zone area, think oil and stress. A large-scale study of 160 male high school students in Singapore found that high stress doesn't have an effect on oil production, but it can make acne more serious. So, it sounds like stress and sleep start a vicious cycle with acne. If you notice a pattern, try meditating before bed or practicing good sleep hygiene. Listening to music or exercising are also natural ways to relieve stress. And remember to avoid touching your forehead. The average person touches their face hundreds of times per day, spreading oils and dirt directly into the pores. If changing up your lifestyle and routine doesn't help, talk to your dermatologist about creating a treatment regimen to calm down acne and reduce the chances of scarring. What do you think of this important information? Let me know in our comment section below. 